Participating student athletes, coaches, and contest officials have worked diligently to prepare for the competition. Please show your appreciation by demonstrating good sportsmanship and respect for all in attendance. Ensure that your behavior is reflective of values that should be identified with these student athletes. The true responsibility of the behavior and the behavior of those around you. If you require assistance, please call upon a school official. Any verbal, written, or physical conduct related to race, gender, ethnicity, disability, sexual orientation, or religion shall not be tolerated and can be subject to the violator to ejection. At this time this week, the starting lineups can alternate in order. For Brown Constable, senior number one, and first grade. For Westbrook, junior number 12, James Brayden. For Brown Constable, Senior number three, Jordan Wells. For Whitaker, sophomore number 13, Connor Bentley. For Brown Constable, junior number 10, Major Stansbury. For Whitaker, freshman number 15, Justin McCaffrey. For Brown Constable, freshman number 24, Zach Bennett. For Westboro, Junior, number 20, Brittany Hughes. For Brown Constable, Sophomore, Zero, Jonathan Madden. For Westboro, Sophomore, number 32, Jonathan Leo. The visitors from Brown Constable are coached by Frank Gillette. The managers are coached by Brian Miller, assisted by Chris Samino, Dan Reed, and Josh Callahan. Ladies and gentlemen, at this time, we now ask you to please rise and remove your caps for the playing of our national anthem. Hello everyone and welcome to Fisher Gymnasium, uh, Tuesday night, game between the Westboro Rangers and the Groton Dunstable Crusaders. I'm Colin West here with Brady Bolin. Groton gets up to a quick start, recovered off a missed layup by number three. It's Brady Hughes takes it up into the lane, good drive there, blocked by 24, over to Joe Marino, there's two. Early lead for the Westboro Rangers, Joe Marino. Great look there by Car Carter Bentley. Rangers running a full steal, court to get the steal. Carter Bentley taking it up the floor. Here's Bentley. Nice move Kick there to J-Mac. J-Mac looking back for Carter. J-Mac once again taking it into the lane. It's blocked by number three, that is Toby Wells. 
I believe he is a captain for Grand Dunstable. Got a lot of contact on the layup. Westboro Good ball. take by J Mac. Bentley will abound. James Braden oh, gathers Tyler up here top. Up. Down low. J Mac in the corner. Just short. Taken by Wells. Wells are off in the uh, Kelly Olenek hairstyle. So that was Andrew Soda Stream Stand Stream, who just scored. Soda Stream. Bentley to McCafferty. Get Hughes up Hughes. top. Good feed inside to Big Joe. How about and he gets Joe the roll. Man. Called up from JV earlier this year. It's been a real presence in the paint. Putting putting in big work for the Rangers this year. Mm -hmm. Here's Wells, Wells for, three. for three, off. Taken by Hughes. Hughes up to Bentley. Bentley As, running point today. Yes. Going with a very young lineup today. No senior starting. Oh, a little jab step by Braden. AKA Over to Carter. Carter Hero. Foul on the floor by number three, that is Wells. Take by Mr. Bentley. Here's Brady Hughes from the corner, takes a three. Short. Just short. Fight for the rebound, gathered by Wells. Up to 24, this is Zach Romich. Here's Wells. Okay. Smith AI, in the corner. AI generated Chris Smith. Followed by Wells. Chris Smith, a very cool name. If Yes. Sounds like he was the 13th man on a uh, NBA 2K Classic. Oh, oh my god, Carter Bentley with the ankle breaker. Kicks to James Finish Braden that. for three. Oh, kicks. clip it. Mrs. Henderson, please clip that. Uh, we will see are you we in counting the, that? We will see you in the end of season highlights. Was, oh, uh, never mind. The refs do not like fun. No, that, and that, pass was, that basket was good. Oh, it did count. OK, great. Carter to travel. Let's go, Westboro. We're, we're just putting together such a great little run right here. I love it. Carter Don't really know taking why. ankles yeah. and taking no prisoners. Shout out to James Brain for hitting that, by the way. Oh, yeah. You, you can't sell the clip on an ankle breaker like that. Not at all. As there's a shot by Carter. He's feeling himself right now. It's a heat check. Taken down by Chris Smith. Ten in the corner. That's send stream. That's, there's a board by J Mac. Ripped it down. Love to see that. Carter into the lane. Strong take. Rims out. Gets his own rebound. Tips it out. Good penetration by Bentley. Couldn't get it to fall. And as we know, so far through the season, Grand Dunstable has been the Rangers' only win this season. So yes. hopefully looking to continue that success about against this team. On a game winner by, by Carter, Carter Bentley. Carter Bentley. Here's, Here's Chris Smith. You'll ever see. There's a three. 7-7 seven, seven game after 4.50 left. Smith possibly on trend. Very muscular. <laughs> he looks pretty big. Here's Joe Marino, Joe Marino inside. Oh. James, James Braden from deep. Deep. Attaboy, J-Mac. Great board right by back up with it. Uh, good fight for the rebound. Yes, Tipped out by GD. Tipped out by double zeros. That is John Madigan. John Madden. Not related to John Madden. Rest in peace, late great. Shout out to John Madden for the Madden video game. Pretty fun. And a wonderful career as an NFL coach. Yeah. Oh, so there's steal. a steal tipped out by uh, number 10. That's SodaStream. Andrew so Sendstream. Good play by SodaStream. Very bubbly. <laughs> Zach Romich takes up the ball. Down to Stenstream. Back out to pass and by the Rangers. Stay in, stay in GD. As Chris Smith. Right. GD passing around. Gets in the corner. Not a lot of dribbling. There's there a, a travel. A travel, travel violation there. by, that is Jack Harlow. Sorry, yes. that is Cameron Barlow. Not Jack, Jack Harlow. Harlow. Definitely not Jack Harlow. As Alec DeRozier is taking up the ball. Wearing $600 Kyrie Irving sneakers. The Bruce Lees. He looks the part. Look good, play good. That's what I like to say. 
Oh, good move by James Braden, Braden for three. Lift. Just short. Hey, Joe Marino, Marino is the there for the scoop. Marino having a, himself a game so far. Six points out of the Rangers nine. Rangers in a half court. Defense here. Cross court pass over to Smith, right up back to Zach. Here's Jack Harlow. Jack Harlow down low to stand stream. He takes a three. It's off. Taken down and ripped by Carter. Carter Bentley into the lane. Bentley You're too small. Drive. What a take. Booted number five out of the way. No one's blocking that. Cameron. Double zeros. Oh, inside. Taken by Joe Marino. Joe Marino would like that ball, please. Alec over to James Braden. McCafferty with the drive. What a Get finish by goal. McCafferty. Beautiful play by Dustin McCafferty. Let's keep this defensive intensity up. Carter, oh, that's Bentley. a backcourt violation. Court. You can't do that in basketball. What an offensive play by Carter Bentley. Using his body to create that turnover. Seems like Carter Bentley might be putting on some weight because he just bounced off of a man. A man just bounced off of him, I He has been say. hitting the gym. Yes. Here's Alec. Alec DeRozier's taking up the ball. Oh, and there's a deep three, three and it's short. It's an air ball. Just off, unfortunately, as the Rangers are leading 13 to seven with 2.40 left. As number 24, which is uh, Zach Romich. Oh, right. Yeah. Cross court pass, risky pass, left. pays off. As Good take there. Stenstream with their layup as on Andrew Gray, who just checked in for Joe Marino, I believe. Alec DeRozier dribbles up, pass over to Braden. Braden into the lane. There's a... Looks like he got an uh, illegal was screen. Was that a foul ball. or...? It was an illegal screen. Senior Taylor Fredman checks into the game for James Braden, who has had the trigger finger so far throughout the game. Mm -hmm. Taylor's... I see a lot of Vincent Zhang in his game. <laughs> Watch the feet. McCafferty with the defense. Westboro ball. Good play by the Rangers. Don't know why I clapped. As there's a little bit of an argument coming from the... Some controversy here. Coming from... Here's Alec. There's a there's good a play by Stenstream. Finishes the layup. 13-11. Rangers still lead. 145 left. Here comes DeRozier's. Screen by Bentley. DeRozier's. Kick out to Bentley. Bentley into the lane, over to J Mac in the corner it's for open. three. Short. Just short. Right over Taylor's hands. J Mac's As just short on Chris the couple. Chris Smith takes up the ball with his shooting sleeve. Pretty cool. Mm -hmm. He must be cool. Love a good shooting sleeve sometimes. Most of the time. Sometimes not. Smith As there's a shot three. by Smith. And that's a three. Might have looked like oh. it went in, but it actually didn't. He just clickbaited me, and he clickbaited a few of the parents as well. Side of the backboard, then hit the net. It did look like a swish. Optical illusion. Oh, what a... Oh. Circus uh, take by Car Carter Bentley. Good way to put it. Alec on Stenstream in the corner to Jack Harlow. It was short. Is there is a... Off of Alec's foot. Off of Alec's foot, yes. As Rowan Bedipore comes in. Love to see that. And Big Joe back in. Good. Love Big Joe. Shout out to Rohan with the ankle brace. Love me some Rohan Bedipore in this situation. Absolutely tenacious defender. Great. Good tip pass by the Rangers. Here's Alec. Alec. Taking it up. We have the three guard lineup on technically with uh, Fredman, DeRozier's, and Rohan Bedapur. Rangers rocking some small ball here. It's Taylor Fredman Fred takes the ball over to Alec. Rohan up into the lane. The floater's up, good and it's good. What a play by the Rangers. Good shot by Rohan. Love to see that. Here's Wells. Almost loses it. Good shot by the Rangers. And that is off of Taylor Fredman, I believe. Even though he says it wasn't. Good trap there. Good trap. Off of Coach Willer, actually. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> Just breathed into the mic. Oh, it's all good. Happens to the best of us. 
All of our Xbox players they know get what it. it's like to breathe in Here's a Here's a corner three by Chris Smith. Chris Smith taken down by Andrew. Oh, taken down. I would say one second Alex through the half court heave. We look. Oh, just off. Just short. As the Rangers lead by four after the first quarter, 15 to 11. Fantastic quarter there. Colin, what are you looking for the Rangers to continue doing to pull uh, through? I'd love to see them keep keep up this uh, defensive pressure out on the perimeter. You've seen a lot of steals forced by uh, by Bentley especially. Love to keep that going. Yeah. Also, uh, just take care of the ball. Never, never want to give the team the other mm -hmm. ball. And as they've been doing so far, uh, not a lot of fouls by either yep. team so far. So Want to keep getting open looks from three. Yep. They'll go in eventually. Mm -hmm. Maybe take a step in, James Braden. Yeah. One step. Yeah, one step. He likes to shoot from out yeah, there. Yeah, he does. He, he is Hall of Fame. That's why they call him Tyler Hero. Tyler Hero versus Jack Harlow. Wow. Interesting. What, what a matchup. Five boys, but they're not in sync. <laughs> Our, um, our associate, Karen Henderson, is currently checking the score of the girls' game. We'll have that for you whenever we can find it. The, gir the girls continue their undefeated season. Yes, they're currently 9-0. It's been a joy to call a few games. Oh, absolutely. White ball. So we have Fredman to inbound to Alec or Rohan. Same lineup as we Three had. Three guard uh, lineup, yep. So we have... Um, Drew Gray up top, over to Rohan. It's going to be an illegal screen again, this time on Joe Marino. Something that I don't understand is um, the concept of an illegal screen. If you well, understand, can you please explain it to me? Yeah, for all the viewers at home that don't know what an illegal screen is, you can't be moving while you're taking a screen. It's similar to a charge foul where you have to be, you have to have your feet, feet set. set. Okay. So if you're moving during the screen, they're gonna call it, and especially in uh, high school level basketball, they call it a lot. There's an entry pass over to ten. Sten stream. There's a foul on the floor by number five, Rohan Bedafor. Got it. Crusaders have a man open in the corner here. Got to get Entry into Soda Stream. Very good, beautiful left hand leg by Sten Soda. Rangers up two, 15 to 13. 720 to play. Alec into the lane. Alec with the drive. Oh, can't get it to go. Good take. Unfortunate roll. Wells, Wells up the court. Little European, European step. step. Tie game. Might have saw a gather step and then two there. I'm not sure. Mm -hmm. Alec, We're all nutted up at 15 here. Seven minutes to go in the second. Taylor taking 24. Oh, what a beautiful. Oh, dumping under is just a little the off. Taylor Fredman special. As there's a Another hop move. step that was most definitely a travel. Funny step, as we the, like to say. The funny step, yes. The funny hop. Joe, Marino back out to, to Taylor. Right Taylor may have this dance. All <laughs> over to Andrew Gray. <laughs> Alec DeRogers. Rohan, Bettepore taking it up at the top, guarded by Wells. Joe Marino over to Taylor. Taylor for three. Went like Beautiful. water. Count it. Great that, possession there. I think that might have been the first three I've ever seen of Taylor this season. I'm sure he's hit more he's than a, one, but he's not a three-point shooter. He's not, but I'd love to love to see that if what you're a Ranger Ranger if, fan. If you give him enough time, though, he's he's locked down. He's knocked down. Excuse me. Drew Gray Stand defending. stream over 24. Zach from deep. There's a deep three. And that is a air ball, as we like to say, from uh, Vincent Zang range. As the Rangers are up three with six minutes left to play, 18 to 15, Rangers. What is the mascot for GD? The Crusaders. The Crusaders. It's a cool name. Very cool mascot. Yeah. Alec guarded by Zach. Romich another stolen by SodaStream. There. There's another backcourt violation. So if you cross the court with the ball and then go back. Special report here. Rangers are up six to nothing. The Lady Rangers are up six to nothing. Common Lady out Rangers in, out uh, in lead out as in Taylor Groton. checks out for Brady Hughes. Out in Groton and or Dunstable, whichever town the school is in. 
Grunt and or Dunstable. Never met anyone from Dunstable. I know. I don't even. I know is that a place? School. Dunstable is a place. Oh, I guess that is two different towns. I guess. Not quite sure. Oh, J Mac giving him the body. Whoa, a beautiful finish. Soda is too small. Toby Wells takes the ball up. Almost an Alfred Payton-esque hair. Oh, yes. Corner to Sten. Stream. Nice little move. Inbound pass. And it is taken by Maybe Joe. Scoops it up. That was number 10. He's lost it. Is Alec driving? Oh, beautiful good pass. Defense. Oh, oh. Marino works the board. Oh. Can't get it to go. Unfortunate misses right there. As number 30 was Bronson Solomon. Bronson. Bronson. What a, what a great so There's a man. timeout by Ron Dunstable as the Rangers have a five point lead with 4.52 left to play. Mm -hmm. It is 2015 Rangers lead. Of course, Tabish Hussein and Aiden Larkin, as well as Razine Ghani, all out today. Yes. Rangers definitely missing them. Unf definitely unfortunate uh, injury riddled season for the Rangers. Yeah. To say the least. I know Razine's got a foot impediment. Not impediment. What's the word I'm looking for? Um, injury. Yeah. <laughs> Ailment. That's what I was looking for. Tobish has the torn ACL, and I'm not sure. I'm not quite sure what's wrong with Larkin. Yes, I was actually planning to ask you that question. <laughs> but definitely it seems you don't okay. have the answer. I have no answers. Maybe we'll have to have a post post game interview with him about what's wrong with him. I'll definitely uh, get the scoop and let you guys know next time we announce just what's up with Aiden Larkin because he's a great player and we'd all love to see him. Keeping up with Larkin. Now that's Keeping a show I would watch. Larks. Also, Nikki B out as well. I believe he has an ankle injury. Nice. Ankle injury Nursing an ankle Boyd. injury. Yes. Hope all four of them get better. Yes. Wells. Oh, that's. I guess that's not backcourt. I thought it was. No, you, you, you can pass it in. Oh, backcourt. So there's Wells over Chris to Smith. Smith. And number four is Evan Leiden Slanger. Good drive. Kind of there. a cool name. Toilet bowl finish. Stenstream is putting up a very, very good game. Absolutely. Seen a lot of steals up top for him. Yeah. Bentley for Another three. Another pick. It's going to be a moving screen once again. Second on him. As uh, number 30, Bronson looks to inbound. Bronson. Bronson Solomon. What a cool name. It's an awesome name. Here's Chris Smith with the ball. Gets it into... Soda wow. Stream is wow. Soda Soda Stream is, is tearing us apart. He's in his duff right now. He is. Very good player. Carter takes the ball up. Guarded by Wells into the lane. Bentley with a up. spin. And there's a foul. Draws the foul. Toby does not think so. Disagree. Sometimes when you hit the other player's arm when they shoot, it's called a foul. Call that a foul sometimes. Guess it depends on the ref. New player in for GD, Evan Laudenslager. Sounds German. great pronunciation. This is, there's a first missed free throw by Bentley. As uh, Zach comes in, Zach Romich. Hope I'm pronouncing that right. There's a. That's how I would say that. R O M I C H. Theo Henderson in for Joe Marino after that moving screen. Henderson, a big, de big defensive presence in the paint. Looking Watch up. out for him down low. Probably Time. trying to nerf uh, Soda Stream down yeah, there. Yeah, I'd say so. Great oh, steal by Carter steal Bentley. By Carter. Jump ball. on the ground. And, and Grog oh, will take time a timeout. Good timeout time call. Because that would have been uh, Rangers ball, I believe. Uh, another good Actually, defensive play by Carter Bentley. Yes. Poking the ball loose. It didn't work. Pokeball loose, teammate grade up. <laughs> I'd say he has around an A minus teammate grade right now. He did draw foul. Draw foul. Make free throw. Um, he has a lot of assists, which boosts your grade actually more than points do. And for those wondering, uh, teammate grade is a player scoring system in the video game NBA 2K. 
You could play on 20. You could play Another on Lady Ranger update, 14 nothing Westboro wow. with 1 minute 52 left in the first. Thank you for that update. It's sheer domination once again. Something that is expected out of the the Westboro Rangers women's basketball team. Something tells me they have a lot of steals because the, the two games I've announced of theirs, they, they had just a lot keep of steals. stealing the ball. Yeah. A defensive-minded team. Defense wins championships, so it's no surprise that the Lady Rangers are doing well this season. As the starting five comes out, sub Joe Marino with Theo Henderson. Theo Henderson. For the Rangers, that is. Both equally intimidating in the paint. I'd say so. Out of bounds. I just do want to point out something. Um, point it out. Stenstream is not even trying to wear the mask. Oh, that's disappointing. More of a chin strap. Trying to grow out the beard, I guess. In these trying times. Oh, nice fake. No foul call. No Jay foul Mac call. Three, there yeah. is recovered by number five. Does kind of look like Marco. <laughs> um, Ramic, almost good entry pass. Sendstream, yeah. Draws the foul. He goes to the line. We'll see what he does with these free throws. Not much Hughes could have done. I will say the masking at the girls' game has been far superior to the masking here. Take that statement how you will. It is short. Sometimes ball lies, sometimes it doesn't. I, I'm a firm believer that ball does not lie. As Mr. W Mr. Smith comes in, not Mr. Smith. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Podor. Mr. Podor <laughs> checks in for uh, number four, Layden Slogger. GD with a press here. See how well the Rangers can break it. Not very well as there's a oh. turnover. Jim Got it right, back. right back though. J Mac in the lane. Missed. Taken down by number 30, Bronson. Zach Ramic taking up the ball. Over to Jack Carlo. Soda Stream in the lane. Again, up Soda Stream. And missed. Rimmed out. Let's see what Carter does with the ball. 21 20, Westboro Rangers. Carter lead. into the lane. Tough D. Brady Hughes guarding ball. Sprint, says coach. As that is Jack Collar in, in the corner. Cannot Far. The ball. And oh, a tipped tough, off of J Max hands break. out of bounds. Tough break. That is tough. I don't think he expected that. Bad beat. Toby Wells checks in. Mr. Wells comes in. Also, with a town in Maine, Wells. Hmm. He didn't know. Here's Bentley defending at the top. Ramich taking the ball over to White. GD killing some time here. Good pass down low. Stenstream with a missed layup. Was contested. Bentley, great pass to James Braden for three. Can't get it to go. J Mac corrals it. Oh, oh my god. Oh my god, not Carter again. Bentley has just killed another man. Oh, the Anderson. In one. Oh, no, my god. No. Oh. Gravel is called to ruin the clip. But that does not that take away from the fact that unbelievable they would call Kobe that Wells play was dead. caught slipping. You check the replay. We'll, we'll check right the replay. Food, his right foot did not move on that play. Something tells me that Toby might need new shoes because I I think that was his second time getting tripped up. Or Honestly, should I say the, the only explanation I have is that is that the ref just felt bad for him because that was the second time he's gotten his ankles absolutely taken from him. <laughs> so he just didn't want he just didn't want another. Oh, but open. he gets the ball taken from him in, in, instead. That that works too. Easy two. There is a easy two by Carter Bentley, a makeup. A redemption. Here's Wells again. Loses the ball again. That is the Ranger ball. As there's the Rangers ball. So here's Carter Bentley. Love how the Rangers just took that call in stride, didn't let it affect them, and they, they're still going on a run here. Some, that's great to see. Great resilience. Here comes J-Mac. Carter taking him Carter again into the lane. There's J-Mac the following, and there's a foul. Fouled. Seems to be on number 30, I would think. That's Bronson Solomon. Also, once again, I just want to say that was a 
really cool name. Yeah. Shout out to his parents for got naming him Bronson. Got some cool shoes as well. Bronson, just a cool man. I don't want to say this, but number one, Chris Smith reminds me of, um, as there's a free throw by J Mac, it reminds me of a sophomore year Ethan Steinberg. I could totally see the comparison. The hair, the build, the, the shooting sleeve. Mm -hmm. There's a missed free throw corralled by Bronson. Zach Romich over to the corner to Wells. Wells it stolen. Another turnover by Wells. It's There's a Hughes. great pass. Hughes finishes. Good look by James Braden. Rangers are up 26 to 20, 50 seconds and counting left. Wells for three. Wells for three, off, up, and missed. Carter takes the ball up. Carter into the lane, over to J-Mac. J-Mac, back out to Brady, over to Brady. Swings one more. Theo into the lane, penetrates. back out. James, James Brady, Brady for, for three. three. Bang, count it, what like Beautiful. water. He's built like that. Nine point lead for the Rangers. 20 seconds left. And Points to his forearm, as if to say, ice in his veins. And this will be the last possession here if GD can... There's oh, another... Wow, what Brady a steal Hughes. by Hughes. Great run by the Rangers. Great, Great run. Wait, that's 11. how to finish out a half. Zach Ramage taking the ball here. up. One stop needed. There's a three. Off. That might count. That bounce. It does count. Count. And I think the Rangers are arguing that the clock started too late. Because that did seem like a lot more than five seconds. Not sure of the call here. 10-2 run to end the quarter. Phenomenal Fantastic play by the Rangers. 10-2 run in the midst of a travel call that it was interesting. We'll say that. That's true. Would have been an and one. Thanks for tuning in, everyone. Uh, we'll see you next half.
We're back. Welcome back, everyone. Here's a missed layup to start off by John Madigen. Carter Bentley taking up. up the ball. James, James for three, short. Taken up by Soda Stream. Gets Into the lane. Hughes. Intercepted by James Braden. He'll take it up. Brady Hughes. And Hughes in pass. Back out to Hughes. Had J Mac. J Mac wanted back. that ball. J Mac gets the ball. Very much wants the ball. Braden. James over to Joe. It's going to be a push foul on Soda Stream. Whoa. Yo. Simultaneous <laughs> mic breathing. I don't want to call that simultaneous. <laughs> There's another. Uh, oh, good. Back open. Beautiful. Mac finds the hole. <laughs> um, here's Zach Ramich over to Toby. Mr. Wells. Smith. Up to Soda Stream. Soda Stream for three. That's going to be a two. For two. And it missed, so it counts as the same amount of points. Oh, I thought his foot was on the line. I can hold you. There is Carter. Brady Hughes taking it up, trying to give Wells the business. Marino in the corner. GD Bench doing some sort of clapping. Taken in. The three, Braden. Braden does not get the roll. Recovered. Beautiful oh, pass to pass. J Mac. J Mac with a soft touch. Supreme vision from Carter Bentley. Early timeout by Grand Dunstable as the Rangers open up the half and lead by 13. I'm with sure 30 to what? 6.30 to go. Sure their halftime plans were spoiled. Pretty pretty early. Couple yeah. missed layups. Couple layups by the Rangers. Couple One. offensive rebounds by the Rangers, too. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Rangers get a nice little rest, thanks to Gron Dunstable's coach. Looking for James Braden to hit Greg a couple Gillette. shots here. Greg Gillette is the coach. It's also a cool name. Maybe he owns the, the Razor Company. I don't know. Oh, Maybe the, the stadium. stadium. Yeah, I think he does, actually. That's what I heard. Yeah. Just kidding. Don't want to spread false news. As we uh, look at the halftime scorebook, as it might be a little uh, little off now, Joe Marino with six and James Braden with six led the Rangers. Mm -hmm. And Justin McCafferty and Carter Bentley both had five. Evenly yes. distributed. Yes. Evenly distributed. There is also some other scoring input. As J Mac added four, four easy ones so far this quarter. Bentley defending from pretty much half court. Oh, beautiful steal by steal, David Hughes. The anticipation. Oh, oh, he got up there. The whole bench wanted the dunk. A rim grazer there. J Mac straight up and down. There's a shot Smith by. Smith open shot. Ooh. Chris Smith. Ref stops the game to get the... Oh, come on. You, you, you can go up and jump. Come on, ref. <laughs> you got better hops than that. Probably warming up before the game, but I don't he, believe that was He doesn't first. have the zig techs as, uh, as the elite refs do. The zigs? Yeah, real refs wear uh, the shiny zig techs. Everyone knows that. Ooh. That was a backcourt yeah, there, it but was. They, they missed it. Oh, what a... Oh, take what a by take Brady by Brady Hughes. Hughes. No and one. Palms in the sky. He wants the foul. Oh, uh, throw it off a man's There's foot, a little bit of a foul. It's going to yep. be a foul. That was the number cool, 30. That was cool name Bronson right there. Bronson Solomon. Cool name, cool shoes. Not cool enough to catch that pass. Also, not cool enough to let the fast break layup happen. Brady Hughes inbounds to Carter Bentley. Carter over to James Braden. James Braden into Joe Marino. Carter was open. Carter gets it. Beautiful team by Carter Soda Stream had nothing on that as Wells uh, gave him the lane. Smacks the backboard with his layup. Rangers up 16 here. When have we ever said that? Well, never, because we've never commentated one of their games. But yeah. Also, this is their biggest lead of the season in any game. I think we might have to commentate more. Don't want to say we're good luck, but they are undefeated when we commentate. As there's a free throw by Carter, taking a 17-point lead. Wow. <laughs> Wells exits. You love to see it. Jo Joe Burrow? No, not Joe Burrow. That's not Joe Burrow. Cam Barlow. Cam Barlow. 
keeping his pivot foot on the ground. We know it's not Joe Burrow because Joe Burrow wins. Wow. Another, wow, good pivot foot by Mr. Barlow. Inbound pa in pass. Oh, James Braden falls. Trying to draw the... Looking for a foul call there. I'm not sure. Carter taking it up. Bentley. Oh, my God. Just two men. Easily out dribbles. Pause. There's James Braden for three. Corner. Can't get it to fall. Same team. J-Mac. G-Mac. Brady Hughes claps for the ball. Brady Hughes for Takes three. Takes open three. Short. Just short. Coach wanted to reset on that, but... Yep. Brady Hughes wanted a shot. Zach Romich takes it up. White. Smith for three. Smith. Looks like it was tipped off of, yep. Pro possibly off of Stenstream. Wonder if his name is Andrew or Drew. I wonder what he goes by. Let's call him Tyler. There's a three. Yikes. Another mystery by Braden. Yikes. Carter into the lane. Bentley take. Beats his man up the dribble. There's some contact by there. Hughes. Great. Great Rangers hustle by Hughes smart to time out get there. that offensive rebound. Rangers lead by 15. Four minutes, 26 seconds left to go in the third quarter here. Love to see them keep up this defensive intensity. I do just want to say if James Braden is hitting the normal amount of shots he normally does, we're up by 20. Yeah, unfortunately he is like two for 16 right now. Might have to calm it down a little bit. Sometimes you have it, sometimes you don't. And when he has it, he's he's, he's a potentially the best. Player, he's yeah. potentially the best shooter on the team. But um, got to just make the extra pass. The layups have been falling pretty well for the Rangers here. Yeah, yeah. Good work inside by the big men, J Mac especially. <laughs> Beast. Possible thousand point score. Rangers leading 29 to 13 at half. The Lady Rangers, of course, out in uh, Groton and, and or Dunstable. Not sure, still not sure. We would love for somebody to tell us. A fun fact about the Groton Dunstable School is that the nearest restaurant is a Dunkin' Donuts 15 minutes down the street. Hmm. And I learned this because I went with Mr. Collins, Will Collins' dad, uh, back in freshman year watching the Rangers clinch. The uh, the league. The league of what? I believe the Midwatch B League. Oh, oh, basketball. Oh, yes. Another nice move. Tip pass. Carter loses it. Open man in the corner. Smith for three. Just off. There's a boy. Brady Hughes runs the break. A one on three. European step. Can't get it to go, but J Mac right with the there to finish. J Mac is a smooth touch, something I wish I had. Smooth touch as a freshman. He's only going to get better. Uh, potential 1,000 point score. I Starting on varsity as a freshman. Jack Harlow with the. F That's the coach. stream inside, blocked. Blocked by his hand. That's the, co that, that's the coach fry move right there. Take a shot, get your own rebound, and put it up for the layup. Stole that directly out of Mike Fry's playbook. A little bit of tampering could have gone on there. Maybe he stole the playbook, I don't know. Stenshin, short. Fredman checks in for Bentley. Fantastic minutes from Carter there. Looks like Betapoor will check in as well, taking out Brady Hughes, who also gave some great minutes. Yeah, just a good overall game by the Rangers. Absolutely. Alec also checked in. I don't know if he was in before. Oh, yeah, I might have missed that. Yeah. There's an inbound pass. Taylor. Taylor, you can dribble. Rohan gets it. Marino. Good find. McCaffrey for three. Short. short. It's going to stay Ranger stay ball. Ranger's ball, yes. Rohan did not know that, but it hit out of bounds already. Better port to inbound. Better pour. Oh. I guess it must have ricocheted off of a uh, tough break for the Rangers. Yeah. Willard pleading his case for the uh, the violation there. Yeah, stretching over the baseline. Defender is not allowed to stretch over the baseline. Tough to tell from this angle. Elbow is one of my favorite body parts. Also one of my favorite types of pasta. So there's a squirt out. 
Looks like a hike. Taylor over to Alec. DeRozier's a lot of space Alec to work with. Alec in the lane step. Oh. Good finish, asking for the foul, I believe. Redman. Stenstream did not want Great to pass team. that ball. Not um, rocking with the pass. Teammate goes down. There's Hold another shot. Long. And there's Jack Harlow for three. Looks like Jack Harlow got a haircut. I don't like it. He's got, he needs to go back to his curls. J-Mac. Oh, J-Mac oh. got some jumping. And there's the foul. And, and if we will be awaiting two free throws. I wonder if uh, Chris Smith's hair is natural curls or he got a perm because there's some of the nicest curls I've ever seen. Something tells me there's nothing natural about that kid. <laughs> Perhaps some performance enhancing substances. Who knows? Whatever works. There's two missed free throws by Jim Mack. Curls get the girls, that's what they say, Brady. In, in his case, it's both. <laughs> <laughs> uh, there's an entry pass over to Solomon. Solomon back out to Zach Haramich for three. Hits it. As Ron Dunstable seems to be going on a little bit of a run. Crus Crusaders can shoot it. They can stroke it. <laughs> yes, they can. Alec double teams. Oh, and there's a Good steal. developing defense. The European step. It's going to be a blocking, blocking foul, foul on Fredman. I don't know how that could have possibly been a blocking Although foul. Although his feet were set. Maybe if, if there's a restricted area. I didn't know this was NBA. But there is a restricted area, but on high school basketball. Sometimes there's phantom fouls. Well, Brady. We believe in the ball. The ball did not lie. Doesn't lie. The ball stays telling the truth. And that is evident there. First shot, everyone knows the, everyone knows the rules. The Rangers are up 10, 44 to 34. 216 left to play in the third quarter. Stenstream with the second. Seems to uh, always miss the first and make the second. Yeah. Solid 50% free throw shooter. He just needs a warm up shot. Let's just break the press, Rangers. Let's break the press. Drew Gray. J Mack up top, back over Ready to Brady Hughes. Brady Hughes and oh, Drew Gray. Did not, did just did not jump for that there. ball. Team to get jump fatigue. Spamming A. Yeah, you can't spam There's A. Oh, what a move by Stenstream. Unfortunately, he missed that, because that would have been a pretty cool clip. And a good play there by the Crusaders. Brings them with an 8, 44 37. And there's a loose ball. Jumping on it is Stenstream. Jump ball. Jump ball. Rangers we go to ball. right. All right, let's go, Rangers. Let's right. settle down here. Rangers need to do something to stop this GD run. Something the GD has found out is pressing works against the Rangers. Yep. Something every other team has figured out by now. I've said this in an early broadcast. You need you need to get it to the point man in the middle to break a press. Watch from McCafferty in the middle. There it is. And we break Back the press. Back to Bentley. Taylor in the corner. Oh. Bentley with a lot of room, kicks it out to Brady Hughes Brady for three. three. Short. Just short. Fight for the rebound, Taylor. Missed the Can't get it to go. Time. The transition defense by the Rangers gets back quickly. And here is Chris Smith. Smith. For some reason I keep forgetting his name. Just Entry remember pass over to Solomon. Last name Missed in the, the United layup. States. Solomon ripped. Taylor up. Fredman. And one, no. A lot of contact there from Mr. Fake Natty. Taylor with the two. Rangers up nine, 50 seconds left. Andrew pass to Soda Stream. Boy, I would love a point counter on Mr. Soda Stream. He's Seems streaming, hell of a game. the points are streaming in right now. Taylor gets it over half court. There's a foul by Soda Stream. Not a smart foul. Joe Marino enters the game for Drew Gray. Goes right down to his home in the post. Speaking of streaming, stream the rec ball game of the week. Held here on Westboro TV this Sunday. Stay tuned for that. J Mack in the lane. Puts up the runner. Just short. Rims and rolls off. Boy, the Rangers cannot buy a bucket right now. Zach Gromich up top. Over to Chris Smith. Chris Bumstead. 
He looks, uh, I think he actually. Chris Smith for Chris three. Smith three. Double the one. twice. Short. Joe Marino fights for it, rips it away. Down. What a I great <laughs> rebound by Joe <laughs> Marino. <laughs> Four five. seconds to go here. Carter Bentley in past the J-Mac. And oh. two men running into each other. I do want to... <laughs> Looks a lot like that. if you were to uh, put a Madden route concept where there's a corner route and a, and a, and a streak route and they run into each other. Oh, oh my god, Carter Bentley. Puts an exclamation mark on that one. I want to point out one thing that I just saw at the end of that half. What Joe Marino ripped the ball out of Mr. Barlow's hands and Barlow asked for a travel violation on, uh, on Joe Marino. You're mad, as they say. As the Rangers currently are up 46 to 39, a seven point game entering the fourth quarter. Let's hope they can hold on to this league as Groton seems to be really fighting down. Sorry, Groton Dunstable. Groton or Dunstable, still not sure. Maybe, uh, Maybe both. Well, you, you can't look up where the school is when you're at the school because there's no cell service. <laughs> it's simply in the middle of nowhere. Seems, I remember seems, back oh yeah, back sorry. in my trip to uh, Grand Dunstable, I asked the lady working at where the uh, snack shop, well, where, where's a good place to eat around here? And she said, oh, you're, you're going to want to go to Nashville, New Hampshire. That's where all the restaurants are. I said, oh, I'm not trying to travel to a different state. Interstate travel is not something I would expect when asking for a restaurant. Grand Dunstable uh, near Area 51, I think. Wonder if, wonder if that storming of the base happened. I'm not sure. It's beautiful yeah. in Grand Dunstable also. Beautiful desert, uh, a nice temperate climate out there. Also near the Amazon rainforest, the, uh, the Amazon River does Don't run through there. Don't forget about the Nile. Links up with the Amazon. Yes, they actually cross in Dunstable. Good ball movement by the Grand Dunstable Crusaders. White. Smith, oh, no, for, sorry, three. Smith for three. Another ripped. For we'll Joe Marino is just an animal in the paint. Free foul. A real Shaqualio Nale type player. Don't know if that's uh, how that not, works. Not sure. Not sure about that. Fight for the ball. It's a jump, jump ball. ball. Stays Rangers ball. <laughs> it really did. It reminded me a lot of Ben Grisman's play in the rec games. Yes, too. that was a Winkler within four on a three by Chris Smith. We are back up. Perhaps an intentional miss. The gym is loud here with no fans in attendance. Smith, entry pass. Soda Stream with the hop step. Can't get it to go. It's going to be is a Ranger ball. By Ramage? Something that happens. Pandemonium. Something that happens when you... That's what I'm saying, Raph. That is... That's what I'm saying, ref. You tell him. The whole gym was thinking it. Luckily, the ref said it. As we will have a more calm gym now, luckily. James Braden to shoot, too. Ball does not lie. That is true, but we got the board back. Brady Hughes. Brady for three. Just off. Rebounded once again by the Rangers. Seems like Paul always finds the right guy. James Braden for three. Hit Paul it. does not lie. A beautiful it's a two shot back. by James Make Braden. Make three. I'd rather have that than one. There's a steal by the Rangers. And there's a little bit of a foul or a timeout. Either one. Good sportsmanship by GD number 00. zero. That is John Madigan. John Madden. Haven't mentioned his name since the first quarter. Definitely a lot quieter on this end of the gym, Brady, as the Rangers have taken a seven point lead, 49 to 42. Great shot by James Braden. Clutch, timely three. A little bit of tension in here. <laughs> 
Don't want to be on that crossfire, if you know what I'm saying. Oh. I'll just say great, great officiating today we've seen so far. Just a real class act of a referee. Wish those ty types of refs could wreck, uh, re wreck basketball, but they can't because we already have great refs in wreck basketball. <laughs> actually, I actually think I, I think there's no difference, honestly. There's a little bit yeah. of mi miscommunication by the refs as uh, threw the through. ball to him, but he wasn't looking. We'll be in the bonus. Of course, I think we all just have to remember that this, this is a high school basketball game. The stakes are low. Uh, we're all here to just have a good time. I'm having a good time. I'm having a great time, baby. Oh, every, all the listeners are having a good time. James Brady. Carter Bentley, Bentley to take Carter it out. Bentley. Some people don't seem to be having a great time in here. <laughs> uh, Brady, Brady over to Joe. Joe Stolen Marino throws a by pick. Chris Smith. A Stevie Wonder there. Here's Jack Harlow. Carter Bentley with the steal. Can't retain possession of it. Oh, wrong team. See, on both ends, on both ends, there seems to be missed fouls. Happens, happens to both of us. Not just one team. There's a lot of discrepancy up in the booth here. Uh, just to clarify for all of our viewers at home, the athletic director does not referee the game. It's actually the referees <laughs> that call the, the plays on the court. The athletic ref. Oh, and there's another steal. James Braden gets the ball. Taken up calmly. Brady, Brady Hughes. Hughes on the wing. Back up to Carter. Himself. Carter into the lane. Good take Carter there. looking for Joe Marino. Another jump ball. Jump ball there. Rangers ball. <laughs> Quite an entertaining game this is. Oh boy. Rangers seven point lead, six to, six to play. Brady, Brady wide Hughes open for two. Wide open. Count it. It's a Interesting defensive play strategy, by the leaving a person wide open for a shot. Zach Gromich takes the ball up. No one in the area code to defend him. Which one, Grodner Dunstable? I don't know. I think they share the same area code. Oh. It's a sick one, John. Entry pass is double zeros. John Madden. Carter takes the ball up, looking like a senior with his calm, cool collectedness. Of course. Brady into the lane. A little bit of a carry. It can be carried. Uh, another fun fact about Groton and Dunstable is that they actually speak Latin there. That's oh. the primary language is Latin with a secondary language I heard of also Mandarin. heard their number one trade partner is the Lost City of Atlantis. Yes. Where they get their cool jerseys. Indeed. Toby Wells checks back into the game. Of course, their mayor is Alexander the Great. <laughs> it's Romich for three, deep. It's off. Fight for the rebound. Oh, There's a oh and a foul call. John Madden. That foul, that foul called by the referee, not the athletic director. Solid call, referee. Shooting two. See if ball lies. Ball tells the truth, as it normally Short does. Short by John Madigan. Something I have been told before. Oh, sometimes 6-2 isn't enough, Brady. Yeah, it is what it is. Second Sinks the second one. Good. A common theme about this team is they miss the first and make the second. Brady into the lane. Fouled. That's fouled. Good call by the referee. Rangers up 51-43 here. 4.55 left to go in the fourth quarter. Game's not out of reach for the Crusaders. Definitely not. One and one for Hughes. Hughes takes a second to compose himself. First one is good. The one and one. No longer a one and one. Second shot for Here's Hughes. Hughes. It's down. Hits both. Ten point lead for the Rangers. 4.55 left to play. Romich takes the ball up. Romich. Over to Smith. Smith. So to stream. Smith. Romich. Wells. Smith. 
Brady get lower. Willer imploring his players three. to get low. Smith for three. Oh, it's just off. Strong off the backboard. Into Madden with the little floater. Beautiful play there. Brady taking it up. Let's see if the Rangers can answer here. Carter Bentley out to James Braden. Braden. Looks for three and he gets fouled. Sometimes when you when one plays football, they go for a tackle. Yes, wrong sport. Teach ninth foul in the half. Rangers are one foul away from being the double bonus. Here's James Braden. Good free throw shooting by the Rangers on the stretch. Braden with one more. I didn't jinx it. Beautiful. Love to see that. Time out by the Rangers. Let's see what Coach Willer does. Maybe preaching a lot of what's been going on during this game. So there's a 10 point lead for the Rangers with 417 left. Another score check. Rangers Lady Ball leads 35 to 16 with just Trendin under three minutes left to go in the third. Trending towards another win. Maybe they can go to Nashua, New Hampshire to celebrate their big win. Yeah, maybe go to a little old 99. <laughs> oh, love me some 99 Treat restaurant. Treat me, please. Free popcorn. Often underrated. Yeah, free popcorn. Yeah, kids What's eat free like? the Red Sox win. Uh, it didn't happen. Uh, I mean, that did happen a good yeah, last season. Yeah, it happened enough. Shout out to David Ortiz for making the Hall of Fame. We're all on yeah, one team there, out. I think. First ballot Hall of Famer for the greatest DH of all time. Something everyone Sorry can get I said behind. It, but yeah, that can link two teams. I would argue he's the most clutch player of all time. I think the that most is clutch fair. hitter of all time. My father was preaching that today as well. No player I'd rather have in a clutch moment. No Barry Ortiz. Bonds or Roger Clemens there. Yeah. While everyone was using. Hit up on his right stick. The fader enforcer, Brady Hughes. Carter Bentley might be paying child support after this game because he has just been uh, asserting his uh, fatherhood on these Grand Dunstable defenders, sunning them, if you will. Cross court. Soda stream inside. Good put up by Soda Stream. Common Joe Marino. Him. That's how you break the press, Brady. Carter Man in the middle. Into the lane. Up. And no foul Strong call. Strong take. Taken down. And he's fouled. And that's going to be the 10th foul for the Crusaders. That That'll be the double bonus. See if McCaffrey can convert. Shout out to Grand Dunstable uh, defenders for fouling. Common stare down. That one is good. Happens to the best of us. There's a shot. There's a three from J Max. In. Excuse me, not a three. Three to put there to put there number 2022. Something tells me we might be headed banner. in the right direction. Don't want to jinx anything. And that baseball banner might be getting. A couple 2022s this year. Who knows? You're seeing a lot of Carter Bentley tonight. You'll see a lot more of him if you come to a baseball game. He is a demon. Led the, uh, led whatever division he was, I believe, in, in batting average? Yes, he batted uh, 450 as a freshman last year, it's which crazy. is absolutely ridiculous. 
Wells with the ball. Three minutes left to play, Rangers up 10. Ramich in the corner, looked like a bit of a travel. Here's Smith. Wells. J-Mac. Tipped out. It's gonna be... Looked like it was tipped out by number 10. Might as well this is not a biased stream. Some confusion on the court here. Refs one thing we should be confused about is guarding number one, Chris Smith, from three. I think we can just start, start calling Wells Bentley because he is Carter's son at this point. Madigan. Brady Hughes for the Good steal, and it's going to be Crusader ball. This game feels like a vacation. <laughs> Tommy Bahama. As th there's a uh, in pass foul by, is that 32? Yeah, Joe Marino. Team's fifth. Groton Dunstable has double the fouls this, this half. Joe Marino's a great story. He started on JV this year, got called up, and now he's starting. You just love to see it. Ramich had a look, passes it up. Ramich with another look for three. Big shot. Oh, huge shot for Ramich. That possession the, did milk about a minute off the clock. Here's the full court press. Love that. Love me some full court press. Here's Carter Bentley. into the lane. J Mack back out to Braden. Back out to Bentley. Bentley's got a lot of space. Penetrates, kicks out. J Mack for, for three. Huge Down three in. from Justin McCaffrey. Possible dagger. Is this the dagger? Sticks one in his back. 60 to 50 Rangers lead. Two minutes to go. Under two minutes to play. Boy, what a shot from Justin McCaffrey. Big Showing poise as a freshman. A true freshman. We'll let him shoot that if he wants. Not an Alex Caravan freshman. Uh, he's a true freshman. Yeah. He's 15. Wells into the lane. Turn almost. Oh, nope. Oh, and there's the Stole turnover him. we're all looking for. As it looks like the Rangers are about to take this game. 1.30 left. Gonna turn on shoot clock points. here. Shoot clock. Carter Bentley. Nothing to do. Not, don't, don't force anything. Bentley with it, and they're gonna call now, a travel. That is something you don't wanna do is turn the ball over there. Boy, that... Rangers up 10, 60-50 with just under a minute and a half to play. 90 seconds, 85, 84, 80, okay. Appreciate the countdown. <laughs> Ramich into the, the human, lane. The human clock. Nice little bit of dribble work by the cross court pass. Here's Smith. Smith, Soda Stream, John Madden. Ramich for three. Once again, can't hit. Dribbles out. Rebounded by Soda Stream. Missed. Free throw. I mean, not free throw, layup. Uh, Toby, corner three. Can't hit. Or same oh. team there. A little bit of miscommunication. I feel like they're trying to keep them in it. They just need one rebound. Get them out of this situation. They played good defense. Defended by J Mac. In the corner. Bentley drives. Kicks to. Soda Stream for two. 45 seconds left. Rangers up eight. Bentley breaks the press by himself. And he gets foul fouled on the floor. floor. Will be the 11th foul. It's going to be two shots at the line for Carter Bentley. Madigan with the foul. His third. First. Bentley up and in. First. Rangers up nine. Ten have the ball, 30 seconds left. No reason to foul here for GD. Just let them dribble at the clock. The gentleman's agreement, as there's a foul. Boy, there, there's, just no, there's just no way you can score 10 points in 29 seconds. Tracy McGrady isn't on this team. Come on, 
No taunting. But that's okay. Mr. Hansen with a common W. Common Mr. Hansen W. Funny to talk about taunting. Any confrontation and uh, the, uh, the, the noise in the crowd just seems to dissipate. Timeout, Crusaders. 20 seconds left. And we're back. back. What great work by Mr. Henderson. What a Henderson. performance. The real MVP. Triple double and camera fixes. Agreed. Harder to get to foul. You quickly. see, there's, there's really just no reason to foul. I just, I just don't understand it, Brady. So, um, I think that lead. people just like being in the Westboro High School gym with these great referees and these great players. We do have restaurants in the surrounding areas, so perhaps they just want to be closer to those. Something I might recommend if anybody's listening and wants to dine. Oh, I do. Um, Always. Arturo's. Ooh. If you're looking to, if you're looking for a nice spot, Arturo's is always good. Great chicken parm. We've got Ted's. Ted's Montana Cavalinos. Grill. If you're looking for a burger. Moving out to Route Nine, we've got a Bertucci's. Got a Chick Fil A. Always great. Chick Fil A, Chipotle. If you're in the mood. So Mexican. many options other than Dunkin' Donuts. Don't forget Donuts. about Casa. Oh, the Casa Verta. There's a shot by Jay Mack. It's up and it's in. 19.9 seconds left. Second free throw is up, and it's good. Beautiful. Jay Mack, ice in his veins. Ramich 20 seconds up. left, 10-point lead. GD will likely take a three. No reason to foul. Oh. And they're. That, I mean. So to stream with a little too much, a little too late, in my opinion. Was it technically a foul? Yes. Was there a reason to call it? Yes. Absolutely because not. we're trying to keep the integrity of the game the same because the refs have done a phenomenal job. They, thus they really far, have. And they want to continue that. Both controlling that. the crowd and calling the game. Just straight up. There's a nice little shot. Double zeros. Dribble it out. And again, not .09 seconds. <laughs> Show some sportsmanship. Show some class. They are so much sportsmanship. They want James Raiden to get more points. They also apparently want my back to be in more pain. <laughs> I'm sitting. At, at this point, they're just boosting the numbers. Because this is going to come Foul off numbers as, are going to end as a six. Three numbers are also going up. It's going to end as an eight-point game when it could have ended as a ten one about 15 minutes ago. <laughs> Could have been Lester yelling, too. <laughs> Perhaps. There's a nice little toilet bowl. Let's see what they do with point nine. This is the Ramage euthanasia. Ramage for three. Shaves of Carter Bentley. Great Final game by score. the Westboro Rangers as they take it 66 to 58. A common W versus Grand Dunstable for the Rangers this year. Common Grand Dunstable W. Uncommon Ranger W. Thanks now. everyone for tuning in, Westboro TV. This is Colin West signing off. This is Brady Bolin. Thank you so much for tuning in.